In today's video, we're playing some 2v2s, you know, we're in Grand Champ 3, I don't really want to talk about it too much, I don't want to talk about why I'm here, alright, but we're in Grand Champ 3, and I actually ran to my ex-RLCS teammate, and he did the most unbelievably disrespectful thing of all time, to me. See you on game number one. Alright, getting into game number one, we got Joe Goldberg on our team, playing against Kiwi and Slash. I think this Slash guy was in my last video, uh, I think he was on my team, and I think we absolutely dominated the game we played together so good kickoff from my teammate there but honestly mostly just a bad kickoff from kiwi normally if the ball gets lost to your side like that hard uh it's normally like yeah it's it's probably a good kickoff from the one person but it's also probably just mostly a bad kickoff from the other team All right, i'm gonna try to take this joe goldberg should be able to get that nice i'll be mid if he wants me Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, my God. He slammed that thing. I got to wait on him. Nice. I'll uh, just fake going to that quickly. I don't, I don't even think I got the reset. Honestly, my mechanics are not there today. Uh, I, I've been playing a couple of games before this. I tried to play some ones before this, and uh, if you guys have ever watched me play ones, you'll know that I just tend to have a very mechanical play style in ones. And obviously, on days like today... Where I'm, I'm saying that my mechanics are bad. It's because I played once, I could not like hit an open net. You know what I mean? And so obviously, if I'm somebody that relies on my mechanics, and I'm having a day where my mechanics are bad, it's pretty rough. Uh, especially for a game like ones where I can't even like demo chase. I can't even impact the play by stealing boost or you know giving passes to anyone. Right? Like if if I don't have my mechanics, I'm not hitting my shots. I'm not winning the game. So that's kind of tough for me, and and that's something I need to definitely work on is. Obviously, consistency of mechanics is good, but also just being able to play a smart playstyle too, where... Although, I guess... So, it's kind of a... Oh, that could have been a goal. I didn't realize he was missing. Oops. Oh, no. Why is he going for the... Oh, no. Wait. Can he get that? No, dude, he can't. I did not know... Why was he going for a demo there? How did he miss the demo? Wait, did he jump over him? What? What is he doing? Um, it's unlucky. Uh, I'll take this boost. Wait on him. Nice. He can just... Oh, wish he didn't touch that. Honestly, it just made it easier for the other guy. Because he touched that, he like touched it down a little bit, and that made the other guy able to challenge him. Whereas if he hadn't touched that at all, I would have been able to get a shot out. Uh, and then it would have been a free, a free shot. Uh, that's going to be free ball for him, I think. Oh, Kiwi actually got a really good soft touch. That's my bad if he scores that. Oh, I got bumps. I got bumps. That's all good. All right. We got to we gotta start fresh here. We've had a couple of opportunities on offense here uh, that maybe could have resulted in goals. So I'm not too worried about it. You know, I think we'll still get those opportunities again. Uh, I'm just... I don't know. There's some of the decisions that are being made that are just questionable to me at best it's a good save from us take this up the wall okay why are you diving in on that right, that's a free ball for joe goldberg if he just goes fast good soft touch there good of us to take that uh you know with a soft touch rather than okay he's already on that but i went over him should be a free challenge for us yeah he's gonna have that but that should be fine he can't really do too much with it just based off of where he was starting at, like, yeah, he can get the ball across the field, but he's going to have to give away possession eventually. That's exactly what happens. Okay, unfortunately, he took the ball from us. I'll fake this. This should be spawning. No, I guess he just took that. And this boost should be here. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm bumped. I'll just turn around on this. Maybe he can go. Nah, I don't think he can. I'll fake this. He's going to have a double. It's fine. Wait on Kiwi here. Oh, he got the beat there. Hopefully my teammate can get the free clear. Nice. And no no ball. Or no boost, rather. So I can't really control that. Just have to get the hit off the wall and then hope that he can follow it up. All right. I got to see where he is. Flipping back. I don't think he got the boost, though. So I'm just going to fake that. Oh, sorry. Bro, why is he voting to forfeit? Like, he would... I'm just not in the mood for that, dude. I'm not in the mood for it today. Like... Sure, could I have saved that? Maybe. But was he the perfect player or something that play? And that, that was not on him at all? Like, no, dude, obviously not. Like, 
It's not really in the mood. Like he hasn't been making any mistakes this game. I don't know. It's crazy to me. Nice shot. Nice shot. All right. Seat up here. Good 50 there. If he gets that boost, he might be able to just air dribble that. Nice. Stay on it. Close. He was going to probably have that, so I'll just let him touch. Good 50. Joe Goldberg can go. He can double that. Maybe. <gasps> should I vote to forfeit right now? Maybe. Maybe I should vote to forfeit. I don't know. I mean, like, I definitely wouldn't even ever consider voting to forfeit there if he hadn't voted to forfeit earlier, but... That is such a disgusting control on the ball. Just gonna take a 50 there. Now he can get that boost, then. Or just get the pinch, maybe get another touch. Okay, got dusted, that's fine. It's gonna be over, he can go. Just jumps? No, okay. Alright, we'll just we'll just forfeit. That's fine. We'll get right into game number two. And I'll see you all then. All right, getting into game number two. Luckily, we don't have anybody from the last lobby in there, except for Kiwi. We got Sharif playing against Astro and Kiwi. This is going to be a tough game, but I think I'm going to focus up. And I'm, I mean, So since my mechs aren't really as, you know, in tune as I would like them to be today, I'll probably just try to really focus on, you know, the disrupting play style of playing extremely, extremely close to them um, and trying to grab pads and stuff where I can rather than using big boost. And uh, trying to not only go for like demos and boost deals or something, but also just like applying pressure by being close. You know, that's... Oh my god, he just missed. We're good. Thank you. I bumped once. Maybe he can uh, hit it to me. But yeah, I mean, that's something I've noticed that players like like Zen and Vatira do extremely well in twos. It's just that they play really, really close to the play. And they rely on their incredibly fast reaction times and decision making to... You know, it, like it's playing close to the play can be scary if you can't anticipate what's going on or what's about to happen, right? And it's important that I use that word anticipate rather than predict, because if you're predicting what's going to happen, then you know you're just going to be easily faked, and you're going to be easily like, you know, basically just walked all over. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Um. But yeah, but if you if you anticipate, like you can get yourself ready for the touches that are about to happen, without necessarily, um, without necessarily, like committing yourself, right? So you're not gonna start turning your car, but you might put yourself into a position where you can if you need to. Got to go for a demo there, or not not a demo, but a fifty. Got a bump, okay? He might be able to double that. I'm not sure. No, the ball didn't go out from the wall. That's kind of sad. It's unlucky. Good 50. I'll try to demo Astro here. What? I shouldn't have jumped. I gotta get back to the goal here. Fake this. Just hit that across. They're both up for that. And they're both missing. Alright, rather than... Uh, I was gonna go flip for the boost, but I figured I would be able to maybe... Dust one. Oh, sorry. That was so obvious. He was really, really far away from the ball there, but for some reason I thought he was going to be able to actually get back to it. I didn't realize how bad of a touch that was, and that was a really smart 50 from him. So, that's my bad. Alright. Is he... What the hell? What's happening? What's happening, Sharif? Talk to me. I'm just trying to keep that up so that he couldn't challenge. You know, if he tries to go for a challenge there and I just pop it up just a little bit, then he's just not going to be able to get a good challenge. He's going to commit himself and we're going to be in a good spot. So, uh, thankfully, Sharif being AFK didn't result in a goal, but um, we'll take it. We'll take it for sure. All right. Let's try to keep uh, keep out the pressure. Stay stay close. I got to keep on telling myself, like, in my head, like, stay close, stay close, stay close. Because uh, the closer I can stay to the play... Uh, I think the more impact I'm going to be able to make and the more uncomfortable I'm going to be able to make them. So let me try to just stay right under this, right? Take a 50 and use a, only a little bit of boost. Oh, uh, dude, I hate these maps where there's like... I mean, I like this map, but I hate when you go up the wall and like one of the things on the wall like just gets in the way of your vision. All right. 
Try to stay on that, maybe take a 50. Hit that out for him. Nice. Again, just staying annoying, right? Just getting as many little touches as possible. Touches that might not be expected. Oh my god, I have zero boost. I have zero boost. He can go for that, right? Yeah, that's over him. I just gotta watch for the shot. Oh, that's around me. Yeah. I was covering the whole net except for obviously the back post. Like, I would have had anything towards the middle of the net, and I would have had anything towards the, the left side of the net, but, you know, I can't really cover it all. I wasn't expecting Kiwi to be able to get around it that much. That's why I covered oh, only those. That was a good shot. So Kiwi gets the touch, but he's not actually going to be able to stay on. Right, like, he, he loses all of his momentum because he's forced to, to get that. I can go for this. Oh, he's going to go for it. That's awkward. Now both of us are committed. That might be a goal. I think he's back in time if he can. Nice. Good recovery from him. I was fully committed for that. He's going to take. I'll try to just get a bump. I got nothing. Good beat from Sharif. I'll wait on him. Hopefully he can get one more. Yeah, he can't. That's fine. Take this. Put the wall. Good 50 there. And I used a minimal boost to do that as well. Oh, he fakes me. Maybe Sharif can get the boost will be alright. Or get a demo or something. I gotta wait on Astro's touch here. Okay, nice. I'll just get a 50 there. Bump Kiwi. Nice. Should be a free ball for Sharif. I took their full boost, so... As long as he can maybe get a dribble here. Uh, Kiwi's gonna have that. Fake on this. <sighs> I own gold. Wait, can you get back? Oh, sorry. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be the end of game number one or game number two. I'll see you on game number three. All right, getting into game number three. Can we win a single game today? That would be that would be phenomenal if we could do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Some days are like yesterday's recordings, and then some days are like today's. Right? You know, some days you win all three, and it's it's easy. It's a stomping. It's wonderful. And then some days you just can't figure out how to turn left, you know? Uh, I'm just going to wait on this. It should be fine. That's going to go around me. I probably shouldn't have committed myself with a flip there. If he can get a dust. Oh, that would have been nice. would have been nice if he could have. That's a good touch from him. Unfortunately, I missed the open net. And that's a really good read from Tristan. Oh, I was trying to hit that up. If he steals that boost, we should be good. I think he stole both of the boosts. Perp. <gasps> Jeez, that scared me. Hopefully he's back. Uh, okay, I can turn on this. I feel like I'm kind of wasting my boost here chasing that, but... Also just kind of forcing it. Nice, he can take that. Hopefully... He's got it. I'm going to take this full boost. I think Rekted can get that. I don't think Tristan's going to be able to score that. And then, as long as he just forces the flick, I'm going to fake this. Hit it over Hammy. Shoot it in. Nice. Good shot recognition there, knowing that he wasn't going to... So, as soon as I jump for the ball there, he knows that it's going to be like a 50, so he's going to go back down. As soon as he goes back down, I just get a soft touch, and he got like a really, really awkward touch there. So... Oh my god, dude. Come for a demo. That's my old teammate right there, and he's Spanish kickoffing me? Unbelievable. Oh my god, I'm getting demo chase. It's fine. Nice. Good recovery from Rekted to, to help me out there. I can take this. I'm gonna fake this. Nice. Good 50 as well. Alright, I just need to get back here, grab some pads. I mean, you know, I know I said that I was gonna try to stay close, but in a situation like that, there's no point in me trying to get close when I'm already bumped all the way back there. Okay, nice. Rekted can go for that. Oh, I could have shot that if I knew it was going to be open. I'm going to wait on him. Hopefully he can just go and force it high. Not exactly the, the force high that I meant. That was... <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have dove in on that, but I just did not expect it to go like up into the corner and then straight back down. That was tough. Tough to read. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, please no, please no, please no. I got it. I'm zero boost though. Hammy's gonna take it up the wall and I can't really do anything. Oh no. He's there. What a save. What a save. 
Alright, I gotta wait on this. Hand me my turn. He doesn't. Okay. He's gonna take that. He's gonna get dunked, though. Gotta be so careful. He's gonna go for the corner read. Alright, I'll stay on this. He faked. Should be fine, honestly. I'm dead. Can he get a shot? No. Wait, that just pinched. I'm gonna get a psycho touch. Maybe it'll go out and he'll be able to score it. Maybe get a double. Close, close. That was a really good touch, though. I mean, instead of hitting it into my corner, I had the confidence that I could hit it straight over my... Oh, dude. I don't have any boost. Oh, I shouldn't have committed all the way that far for for the ball. I thought my team was going to be able to get a 50 to slow it down, but he just got hit right past him. I feel like I'm just making bad decisions. And... I don't know. It probably stems from... Oh my God, that was, that was actually really nice. Uh, it probably stems from, like, the... Just unconfidence. I'm, I'm not very, like, playing very confidently today. And so because of my lack of confidence, I'm probably not making good decisions when they should be made. That's a good shot, though, at least. At least we can turn and make good shots on low boost, all right? Oh, right under the crossbar, right over his car with enough power. Like, as soon as I see him flipping up there, I know that I'm going to be able to take the shot. Because he's not going to be able to land uh, super quickly, right? As soon as you see him flipping up, you know exactly when he's going to be able to turn around. At, at the earliest possible moment, he will be able to. So, as soon as you can tell, like, you know, when he's going to be able to turn around, you can also tell how long the net's going to be open for. Please do that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I just missed an open net. All right. He's going to... All right. That should be a free ball for him. Okay. It's a good 50. Right, he's got that. Okay. Rected should be able to take. I'm gonna go for this big boost here. No way! Oh my god, dude, this ball's just getting clanged around right now. Is he gonna bang it up to me? Up to him, maybe? Does he have boost? Ah, oh, Hammy's there. He's gonna have a double. I gotta wait for this. Is he gonna be in? Mmm. Okay. Over him? It's open. Nice, nice. Such a controlled and slow play there. Like, I knew that I could get the ball up if Tristan did jump on it. I knew that I could beat him. Um, but I also had to beat him in a way that the ball still popped out, like, slow enough for my teammate to get it, so. Got it. I had no boost there. Nice, get it over him. Just, I mean, all that I care about there is not letting him get a shot on target and allowing my teammate to you know, get boost if he needs it, or just get into a better position if he needs it, so... Don't tell me that's him. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I got this. I'm gonna wait on Rekted. Nice. I'm just gonna clear this. Like, I'm not even... Normally there, I would probably go for a sidewall if I wanted to actually make an offensive chance happen, but... I just didn't even... Alright, that should be down. No, it's off. Uh-oh. Ooh, GG. All right, we're going to take that game and run. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I know it's kind of a lower energy video, and I'm sorry we didn't win all three games, but you know what? Losses happen, and I'm going to include them, right? So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.